taking over the kicking duty for Bill Gramatica. But here is a big play in the game, and it came very early. First down. They like the goal line stand that San Francisco had against Philly. That was Emmett on first, Emmett on second. Now, look, this is early in the this is early in the game. Quincy Carter on third, rolling out. And he fumbles, and then he fumbles, and Tommy, what a break! Well, you can see Quincy Carter fumbles the ball right there, short of the goal line. Now that ball rolled into and through the end zone. Referee made an outstanding call right there. It's a touchback. Ball belongs belongs to the Cardinals. And then miscue, and the one front line came back to haunt him. And then Reginald McKinnon intercepts Carter and returns it for a touchdown. So Dallas controlling it, but Arizona leads it 7-3. Jake Plummer. And watch the moves that Frank Sanders makes right here. Not only shakes off defenders, cuts there, cuts there. So dangerous in the open field. And he's going to go down to the one front line. Setting up a touchdown by Michael Pittman. 14-10 cards. Now 17-10, less than 40 seconds to go. Carter Reggie Swinton pushed out of bounds. And then the clock, the clock keeps on ticking. It certainly seemed like he was forced out of bounds. The referee kept the clock going. And then Carter to Swinton again. They're at the 42. And then what do you do here on this Hail Mary, Tom? Get down! There were a lot of guys in position for Dallas, but Arizona as well. See the cousin of the Swam Kwame was back there. <laughs> and the Cardinals. Hey, you know, they still have a shot in an 8-8 eight eight season. And the Cardinals went up on the count of 17 to 10. Over the Cowboys plumber, and I throw up a lot of yards, but 